21st Century Expeditions. I was out here in the floodplain of Canaveral Marshes Conservation Area. And I decided to visit this uh, kitchen mid, an Indian kitchen mid, or, or shell mound. As you walk along the base of the mound, you can make out the contour a little bit. There's a lot of vegetation on the mound, so it's kind of hard to see, but there's a lot of the papaya and orange trees and has some crepe myrtle, which is an introduced species, and some Brazilian pepper, another introduced, introduced species. But it has your indigenous species as well. It has some wax myrtle and cabbage palmetto and red cedar or juniper tree. It has a lot of black haul growing on the mound. You can see a, a cow recently died here. variety of fruit on this mound, fruit bearing trees. Here's an old sour orange introduced to the Indians by the Spaniards. And here we have a papaya tree. You can see some papaya fruit starting to come forth. Here's another fruit bearing tree, a hackberry tree. The hackberry was an, also part of the Indian diet. You can see some hackberries on this tree now. Of course they're not ripe. Here's some freshwater snail that the Indians mined from the river, ate, and discarded in this earthen mound to build it up. Here's what looks to be an Indian stone tool. Have an array of pot shards here. You can see this is a check stamped textured pottery. Most of these are clay tempered. Far from the shell mound I was just at, there's another one. Not much to see here. Have some juniper trees, some Brazilian pepper. gradually slopes but I can imagine that this uh, mound probably was much larger at one time top was probably utilized for uh, road fill and fertilizer we can make out some shell fragments not much. It's been heavily trampled by cattle. There's a nice juniper tree here. Really pretty tree that we have in the state of Florida. Let's call it red cedar.